Greetings viewers and fellow Imperial Knights, this is Hondo Moon Razor here with another Star Wars vs. video. Probably the second last video I'll be able to make before leaving on my camping trip later this month. Bella Kowix vs. the Je Master and Apprentice, Luminary Andeli, and Barris Ophi. Now this is a rather unique video for two reasons. One, it was suggested by my fellow YouTuber and vs. video creator, Wolf May Myth. Thanks for the suggestion, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Second, I actually have a script, so there should be a lot less stuttering. With that out of the way, let us begin. First category, Martial Arts. Bella Coix was a Jedi Guardian, and that's about all we know about her. Sadly, Master Coix hasn't really gotten into appear much. Although we have zero canon confirmation on what form she uses, most Jedi Guardians of her era used Sheehan and Sarisu. Coix's reputation for blast deflection also supports this theory. Regarded as a powerful warrior, even at a young age, Coix took on entire squads of Imperial troops and droids by herself, almost always coming out the victor. Although assumed to be a highly skilled duelist, Coix has been on the losing side several times. Oh, uh, excuse me. Overpowered by Lord Pran Tatooine and later cornered by two Sith assassins on Coralia, Kuix eventually admitted that she wasn't much of a soldier. Still, she remains a respected and skilled Jedi Master. Master and Apprentice, Luminary and Barriss are one of the most powerful and effective teams in the Jedi Order, probably only second to Kenobi and Skywalker. They are both practitioners of Sarisu, although Luminary also uses Sheehan. Although neither one has been involved in a serious lightsaber duel that we know of, they are both capable of taking on and defeating large groups of droids, working separately or together to wreak havoc amongst their enemies with their fast-paced lightsaber combat. Barriss was also capable of holding off renowned martial artist and Jedi hater Fao G. Together or apart, Barris and Luminary are some of the best the Jedi have to offer. In the end, the first category is relatively easy to call. Balakowicz is a respected swordmaster and would probably be more than a match for either of these Jedi if they were fighting alone. But when working together, Barris and Luminary effectively triple their swordsmanship, and I really don't see Balakowicz being able to hold that off for very long. I give the Malurians the edge in lightsaber combat. Second category, Force Powers. Although a Jedi Guardian, Coex shares many traits with counselors. She wields a green-bladed lightsaber, isn't particularly fond of fighting, and her most impressive display of Force Powers was a non-combative ability. Captured by Lord Praven on Tatooine and left for dead by the Shock Jump super weapon, Coex placed herself in a deep healing trance. Although this saved her life, it was not completely effective, and Coex never fully regained her health. Aside from this, Coex could also guide a thrown saber and create powerful force pushes. She was also able to aid her advancing age by augmenting herself with the force, although this had its limits. Although both Mallory and Jedi are renowned healers, Barris is the superior of the two in this area, being a full-blown Jedi healer. On the other hand, Luminary, as a Jedi Master, is the overall more powerful of the two. They are both capable of advanced displays of telekinesis, mighty force pushes, mind tricks, and, working together, keeping the entire cavern from collapsing. All three of these characters have healing as their main, most well-known ability, and they all have well-developed and intricate displays of telekinesis to their credit. And in the end, there's no real advantage here, so I'm going to call it an even. Third category, Physicality. Kowix was a female Tagra, and as such had close ties with nature and could use echolocation to give her advantage in combat. Although her exact age is unknown, Kowix is past her physical prime, something that gave her a lack of ability to go head to head with much younger Sith assassins. She also never recovered from her debilitation from the Shock Jump, being overwhelmed by relatively low skilled Sith assassins, as previously mentioned. Barris and Luminara are both members of the near-human Malarian species. Barris is 21, Luminara is 39, and both are in excellent physical shape, as are most Jedi. This is, sadly, the one where the Malarians get a really big edge. They are both in almost perfect physical condition, and are basically in the primes of their lives, compared to the somewhat crippled and rather old Bellica Wicks. Final category, light uh, armament and weapons. 
As with most Jedi of her time, Coex uses a single bladed, simple but ornate lightsaber. It has an emerald blade and no inherent advantages or disadvantages. Unlike most Jedi of her age, Coex has never been depicted wearing lightsaber resistant armor. Both Luminara and Barris use completely standard lightsabers, with no advantage is besides their familiarity with them. They use green and blue blades respectively. There is no real edge here as they all just wield standard Jedi lightsabers. Well, now the verdict. Sadly, I think you can see where I'm going with this. If this was just Master Coex versus Luminary, or just versus Barris, she would probably be the victor. However, it takes a rather advanced Jedi Master to be able to take on two opponents who have already been established as highly competent Jedi Knights and come out on top. And sadly, Bella Coex has too many things working against her. She would be able to match them in lightsaber combat for a short amount of time, but unlike Korea, Coralia, man I cannot pronounce that planet, her advanced age and debilitation both physically and in the force from being exposed to the shock drum for so long would quickly end with her being overwhelmed. Although I don't think Luminary and Bears could overwhelm her with the force, their better condition at teamwork and the fact there are two of them would definitely give them the edge in this battle. And in the end, I don't really see much choice but to crown the Malurians the victor. Hope you enjoyed this video, leave a complaint, comment, uh, suggestion for an Ever Versus video, especially that last one because I have no more ideas, although when I come back from my camping trip I probably will. Um, yeah, that's all for this time, this is Hondo Moonraiser signing off.